we know that the x component of the velocity stays the same. The y component is the one that changes, right? So we'll use the first equation. V final y is equal to V initial y minus 32t. Okay. Minus 32 times 4.71. So uh, that will be, uh, that will give you the final y component of the velocity. It's going to be negative, right? Negative point and then to find the total velocity, the total final velocity, you take square root of vx squared plus v final y squared. Now vx squared, vx never changed, so that one was always 130 cosine of uh, 35. So that's 130 cos 35, square that, then add to that uh, this thing, 76.16 squared, and you should get an answer for V final. It's probably going to be a little larger than 130, the final velocity, because it went and it fell, it fell below the height that you threw it from. So it's going to be like 131 or something. You can calculate it. Let me know what you get. Probably 131, And then to get the angle, you do 10 inverse of uh, V final Y over Vx. And you will get an answer something, I'm assuming something like uh, negative uh, 37 degrees or something, a little bit more negative than what you threw it at. You threw it at 35 and you should get an answer a little bit um, uh, a greater number then what you threw with that. So do both of those, tell me what you get. 30.92, no 130, right? 130.92 and then do the angle and you should get something like negative 36 or negative 37. Okay. Okay, so that's what it means to completely answer the question now. We answered everything about the question. We determine if it's a home run, whether or not it's not a home run. Well, we determined it's a home run. Then once it fell, we determined where it fell. Then we determined its velocity and its angle of the velocity, you see. Okay, now the other kinds of variations on this problem could be this. So this is part C of the problem. I'm going to now add part C. I'm going to say keeping the angle at 35 degrees, what velocity should it have so that it barely hits the top of the fence, so that it's barely a home run? So with this one, 
I'm asking you to find the missing piece of information. What should the velocity be so that it hits the top of the fence, but I've given you the angle? OK? So now what we do is we say the x is equal to vxt. The x needs to be 380. The Vx is V initial cosine of 35. So you, you know it needs to travel a horizontal distance of 380. And uh, you know the angle is 35, but you don't know V initial and you don't know T. And in the y direction, you know that it's going to be You know that the, it's going to hit the top of the fence, so that the y final is going to be 30. y initial is 4. v initial y is uh, v initial sine of uh, 35. And then t is t. So you basically have two equations and two unknowns. You're setting up a two equation, two unknown system. You don't know the initial, you don't know the t. You don't know the v initial, you don't know the t. But you have two equations, so you can solve it. Now, what we're interested more is in the v initial, not the t as much. So I can substitute for t here. And then I can substitute that t over there. And I don't even need to solve for the t in this problem. And I can now solve for v initial. So 30 minus 4 is 26. And that one comes out to be uh, what here? Now, fortunately, this V initial cancels with this V initial. So that one we got rid of. And all that's left is uh, 26 is 380 tangent of 35. And then we've got this thing here, 16, 380 squared, cosine squared. So you got the whole. And after that, it's just algebra. Take the, this to the right side, the left side. Take the 26 to the other side. So uh, solve both sides. This isn't really something that you need the TI for as much. You could just literally do this yourself. Take this, this side. Take that, the other side. Manipulate the equation and solve for V initial. So work on that for about a minute. I'll give you some time. And tell me what you get. OK, so we're back here. We're doing this one. And you got the uh, 119.76, which makes sense. Always when you get an answer, ask yourself, does it make sense? Is it logical, right? It makes sense because with 130 feet per second, the ball went over. We killed it, OK? So if we're going to barely make a home run, it's got to be slower than 130. So 119 makes sense. Okay. Now, we could reword the question this way, part D. Keeping the velocity at 130, what angle do we need so that it's barely a home run? 